this now. All of a sudden, this morning, I was looking for that email. Um, I still have it because I forwarded it, right? And the HTML is busted even on the forwarded version, right? And it doesn't have the text here like it normally did. Look at this. This email is gone. They're going to try and put it into your mind that, you know, I deleted it or something like that. But I didn't do that. I didn't, like, it, it would make no sense. Why, why would I spoof when I have so much evidence? Why would I start lying all of a sudden? It should be right here. Right here in this area. It should, I paid after, you know, the tax sale closed right around here. This email is gone all of a sudden. There's no payment email anymore. It's deleted from my from my email. I checked my delete, deleted folder too, and it wasn't in there. So, yeah, obviously something's up here. It should be right where I put it. I made a video about it yesterday, and I kind of made fun of a hacker in a way because he kind of messed up because he didn't go through all the HTML in order to edit the HTML, because HTML can be kind of confusing. You have to change multiple different strings at once in order to get the desired look in HTML. You can't just add an H. If you just if you add one letter to where you think it will change one letter, it can completely brick the HTML, like what's going on in this, in this email here, how it's all funky and there's no letters there. There's a, a box and a bar and it doesn't have any letters there. It's supposed to have 918. Scott Avenue. It, that's what it said when I purchased this lot. It did not say a blank white bar in the middle of a blue bar. You know, like you, it was. I was supposed to click that in order to view the property, and it said congratulations too. Congratulations, you, you purchased nine one eight Scott Avenue. I mean, it didn't say congratulations on the bar. But when I won, it was it did say that. This is this is very alarming because it's literally not here right now. This has to do with the Microsoft hack of 2023 and 2022. Um, they discovered it in 2023 and claimed it. And I'm pretty sure that they're still being hacked and backdoored by these people. Partially backdoored. I mean, it's more of like a front door, really, because this is just like... It's not like Microsoft got hacked completely. Microsoft Outlook got hacked. Microsoft itself is a multi-cell uh, like network. So they, they hacked a small cell in the network in order to hack these emails because it has to do with fraud. It has to do with this case. It has to do with, you know, this is up to a half a million dollar lot that I bought. We're talking about $500,000 in goods in within an estate, within a home that I purchased being hacked away possibly it's an $85,000 house and land assessment that's its appraised value but there was two cars on there there was all kinds of items in there there's all kinds of things inside the house furnishings things like that when people pass away they they lose their entire estate and you buy it this way so then you can continue you know, paying the taxes on the land so the government doesn't go under. You know, imagine this. Every time somebody dies and a family tree ends, a complete lot is just nobody's forever. No, that's not the way the government works. The way the government works is if you don't pay your taxes on, or you die and you don't pay your taxes and nobody lives there, we auction your stuff off for real because that's how we keep, a, you know, a society going, an economy, a community going. Otherwise, everything's a ghost town eventually because you don't have this set up. So this is a mandatory thing that we have to do in order to have society and civilized, you know, prosperity. And right here is obviously a clear evidence that hacking is being taken place. I mean, I can't get this email back outside of that forwarding. They, they forgot. These hackers, again, forgot to delete 
my forwarded email, dude. Like, you, like they're so basic that they don't even, it, they can't even code HTML correctly. They can't even delete the redundancies of emails that I forwarded to, you know, other officials in the government. It's like, get your get your stuff together. You can't even hack in the first place. You're already caught. I'm a YouTuber YouTubing hacking right now. I'm YouTubing this. I'm uploading this to, you know, social medias, and you're losing at the end of the day. How are you this bad at hacking? You know what I mean? Like, how? How can you be so bad at hacking? And then I'm not even in the house yet. How am I not in the house? How did some government official with guns not come in already? Like, where's the military right now? Where is the governments that actually force this stuff into play? Like, what's going on here? Like, at this point, I have this army of evidence that I should just drown somebody in court with. There should be people in jail. There should be fraud and felonies going out right now. And I'm here making YouTube videos about it instead to make sure that it happens that way. This is not the America I signed up for, and this is not why I pay taxes.